Hello friends, welcome once again. Today our discussion is on junction diode and its forward and reverse biasing. And today we will do the experiment to see that how the diode is forward biased and how it is reverse biased. So before that, just the basic thing that you know that uh, you should know is today's our discussion is junction diode. So what is a junction diode? The junction diode is nothing but a PN junction having metallic contacts along its two sides. So you can see here this is a junction diode. You see this has two metallic contacts. These are the two contacts. These two are the two contacts along two sides. And uh, you see here one portion is silvered, a small size you can see here, some portion is silvered and uh, portion is and the other portion is black. The black one represents P side and the silvered portion represent N side. So if you we'll draw the circuit diagram or the electronic circuit symbol, this is the electronic circuit symbol representing the big arrow representing the P and the straight line representing the N side and if you see it theoretically this one is silvered actually it looks like this this is a two terminal device the silver portion represent N and the black portion represent P as I have shown you right now now let us go to what is forward biasing and reverse biasing so whenever you will go for forward biasing of a diode forward biasing you see this is a diode if the P side of the diode is connected with the positive terminal of the cell then it will be termed as forward biased and whenever we will talk about reverse biasing the if the same diode I have taken P in junction diode the P side is connected to the negative terminal of the cell or N side is connected to the positive terminal then it is called reverse biased. So we will do the experiment to see this whether the forward biasing and we know in forward biasing diode conducts readily. It allows the current to pass through in forward biasing and in reverse biasing it doesn't allow the current to pass through. So we will do the experiment by using a LED and to so that that the LED is glowing in forward biasing condition and it is not glowing in reverse biasing condition. So let's proceed. Uh, so this is the arrangement that I have done. You see here. The arrangement and the circuit diagram. Simultaneously I will show you. This is, this is called the breadboard. And you see this line are seriously connected. This, this above one. And the lower one is connected in parallel. So this is your diode. This is the diode. This is the P side of the diode and this is the inside of the diode. The P side of the diode I have taken here. The black portion is connected with the resistor. Here you see it is connected with the resistor. Then this one is the symbol, circuit symbol of LED. So the other end of the, the other end of this uh, uh, register has been connected to you see here this is N side of the LED and this is P side of the LED so this is a series circuit so the P side of the diode must be connected with N side of the LED so I have connected right beforehand and uh, then the P side is left vacant from where we will connect the positive terminal of the cell and the N side of the diode will be connected with the negative terminal of the cell. So now you see let me do the experiment you see the cell this is the cell this one is positive and this one is negative so I have connected the circuit the 
red one represents the positive and this black one represents the negative. So connect it. So I am connecting right now. The red one is connected to positive. The black one is connected to negative. You see what is happening. You see here what is happening. The LED is glowing. Means the diode allows the current to pass through. So that's why it is glowing. It is readily glowing. You see. Now let us just interchange the position of the diode. This diode position will be interchanged. That means I will just connect like this to these two ends. Then it will be reverse biased. That means this connection will not be there. Only the lower one will be there. Then it will be reverse biased. Without breadboard also you can do the same circuit by using by taking a diode. A register and a LED and a LED also you can do the same circuit by taking so let's just interchange the diode I'm just opening and I'm changing it here how to connect the LED you see this is the LED the longer leg of the LED represents the P side and the shorter one represents the N side. So accordingly we have to connect. The It should be connected in such a manner that the LED should be forward biased. So here is the diode I have taken. So let us connect it. Now you see I have just interchanged the diode position and I have reconnected the circuit. So let me just connect it to the battery and I am showing over here the LED is not glowing. This LED is not glowing. This is a manual circuit. You can do it in the breadboard, breadboard also. So let's just reverse this. This diode has to be reversed. So I am just taking it out. Yes. You see the diode is reversed. Now we will connect the circuit again. So this is the positive and this one is the negative. So let's just connect. The positive one is connected to positive. The negative one is connected to negative. You see what is happening? The LED is not glowing. The LED is not glowing. You can't see any glowing of LED. So that means this circuit is reverse biased. That means this one. The circuit is reverse biased. Thank you everyone. This is all about today's uh, experiment. I hope all of you have enjoyed. Thank you all.